today in this video we are going to learn what is four moves checkmate or scholar's mate how to do it or how to avoid it if the opponent is trying to do then how to avoid it if you want to do it then how to do it okay it's a four moves checkmate and that's the easiest technique if you are you know playing against beginners very very new students new players who are you know just who have just learned and they have not played so many games with them if you try this technique this uh, this trick it is uh, good but if you uh, try this against uh, you know experienced player then it's not that good so you have to be careful about it so let's try okay let's uh, see this what is that uh, how you, how can you do it so the four moves checkmate or the scholar's mate we are going to see that right now so first is e4 e5 then queen h5 they can make this kind of mistake and yes g6 okay made made attack on the queen what can you do you can simply take this and now there is a check and there is a attack on the rook so it's a pop what can your opponent do now either queen e7 bishop e7 or knight e7 all options are there uh, let's see suppose if the opponent plays this queen e7 you can simply take queen cross h8 now even though if the uh, black plays queen cross e4 what will happen you can simply uh, block it by this and there is no problem okay like uh, even if queen cross c2 this now this one has the support of this knight so you can play this queen cross g8 and then this is very good uh, position for white so let's go back okay now here instead of queen opponent can even play knight e7 in that case as well you can just capture this bishop e7 same thing so this is very good for white and that's why we would say black would not play this so what can black play then black can play this one okay suppose uh, we will see this line now knight c6 giving support because you have to give support okay either like this or like this either knight c6 or d6 so we will see knight c6 now bishop c4 what happened with bishop c4 now again we have the same threat see this we were seeing about this okay there are now two attacks on f7 only one support and uh, if black makes the mistake okay which is like very much likely that opponent can just simply play this uh, thinking that okay uh, white has just developed the pieces i will also develop and at the same time i'll attack on the queen but that's not a good idea because here you can just simply do checkmate and this is called as scholar's mate four moves checkmate okay white has made checkmate in four moves and that's why this is not good option for black let's start white starts with e4 and suppose black plays e5 okay these are the normal moves now normally white plays knight f3 here right uh, we say that it's better to move the knight before the bishop but in few cases in few opening we even move the bishop before the knight uh, we can say this is like you know bishop's opening now here uh, opponent can play either this or this okay either opponent can move the knight to c6 or bishop c5 yes then you have the chance to do this okay because if the opponent plays knight f6 then it's difficult to try this trick so let's see we will think that okay opponent has played knight c6 now what to do we will see so in this case white can play either queen f3 or queen h5 what is the idea in this i will tell you now here why did we move the first move or uh, second move over here the bishop uh, we are making attack on this pawn okay now you should understand something about this pawn this is the weakest pawn of all okay all these pawns if you see if you compare these other pawns they are better than this one why because if you see all these pawns have supports with the other pieces like this one has support with this this one has support with this this has support with so many pieces with this with this 
even if the knight is here with this, uh, the king is also giving support. Uh, then this one has only support of the king. Okay, this one has support with the bishop. This one has support with the rook. So if you see all the other pawn, they have support with the other pieces. Now this is the only pawn. F7 is the only pawn which has support of the king only, which is not that good because if there are more attacks than one, then the king can't capture it. King has a limitation that king can capture only those things which have no support. So uh, if there is a support, if there are two attacks on that pawn, you can, white can capture and then black cannot capture with the king. And that's the, uh, you know, main idea of uh, playing bishop c4. And that's the main problem for black, uh, disadvantage for black that the king cannot do that. Okay, so white plays this one, queen h5. Uh, idea is very simple that you have to make two attacks on this pawn. And the beginners, you know, the new players, they don't understand this, okay? They thought that, okay, you have just developed another piece and they continue their move like this. Okay, I'm not saying 100%, but 50% or even uh, 30, 40%, they play something like this. And then you get this chance to do what? That you can play queen cross f7. And suddenly you can see on the fourth move, white can do checkmate on this black king. Okay, why? How can you do that? Why can't black capture? You have seen, okay, the support is there. King cannot capture anything which has a support. So this is a big problem. And this one, you can try by moving the queen on h5. Sometimes even uh, you can play queen f3. The only problem here uh, with this is black can play this one, knight f6. And then you cannot try, you cannot do this one. So queen h5 has that advantage that even if a opponent plays knight f6, then also you have this chance. Okay. So this is the different thing. Okay. Now, sometimes what happened, I will tell you. Suppose you play this, you play queen h5. And to save this, opponent can play this one. Right, knight h6. So here you can do one more thing. So suppose uh, opponent played knight h6 and you played something like, you know, even d3 or d4, whatever. Suppose d3, you played d3 and now opponent played not bishop c5 and then you can capture the knight, which is giving support to this. So once the knight is gone and if opponent didn't understand and opponent captured this, so what can you do? You can simply again do this checkmate. So this is a problem. Okay. And for that, if you are black, uh, this is not a good technique of saving that checkmate. So what to do? You should play either queen f6 or you should play queen e7. These are the best options. Okay. Other than that, suppose you have already played knight c6. Then you have this g6 also. Very good move. But you should have played this one because if you have not played knight c6, I will show you another variation in which you have this problem. Suppose black plays this one and you play, suppose queen h5. Now here g6, if you try, then the problem is queen cross e5 is coming because knight is not giving support, knight is not there. And bishop is not giving support to this. So even though you will save this somehow, you know, queen e7, knight e7, whatever, then the problem here is white can get this uh, queen cross h8, this one. Now, even though uh, opponent can try this one, queen cross e4, but there is no problem. King d1 you play. Okay, opponent, if he captures this one, you can take either this or you can play d3. Then queen has to move somewhere. If queen g4 check, you simply play this. And if uh, queen captures this, then there is a problem that rookie one is coming. And uh, if king here, then there is a checkmate uh, because the knight is pinned. So you can't do that, right? You can't capture it. So this is a problem. Then what can you do uh, after maybe? Yeah, so that's why queen cross g2 is not good. Maybe opponent can try this. 
but then queen cross g8 and now white has very good position there is no problem white can play because white has extra points now so you can play now normal moves okay even if he tries this uh, there is no problem this knight has the support of this you can simply play this and it is fine now okay if you take this still there is no problem this queen e8 checkmate is there and if you don't capture maybe king c6 to run away from here but still you will get so many extra points and this is good for white so this is the problem for black if he uh, doesn't see that uh, e5 has no support so he has to do that and for that support we'll see yeah after knight c6 queen h5 Uh, we have seen that knight f6 is not working because this queen cross f7 is coming then knight h6 is not working because after d3 you are capturing that somehow okay if he tries this then you can simply play yeah suppose you play this and the opponent uh, is not understanding opponent played something like this Yeah, but opponent can uh, play knight d4 here, okay, and then he have to move again. So that's why this is not a good idea. So maybe yeah, here opponent plays something else. Okay, we'll see this one. Uh, without thinking about this, if opponent plays that, then again the same problem is there. So you have to be careful. This knight h6 move is not that good. Okay, so how to save this queen cross f7, uh, queen e7 or queen f6? These are the good moves. that's what you have to understand yes but uh, if you have knight c6 then g6 is working no problem now you can't play and if he plays this then you have this knight f6 and if opponent plays something like knight e2 because he wants to save this knight e4 is coming then you can play d6 and now there is no problem black has Okay, position. White has to play this to stop this bishop g4, and uh, you can play knight a5. The bishop has to move. If he doesn't move, you can simply take it and then play the normal move. So this is how you can stop the check uh, checkmate on f7 if you are black. Okay, we have seen uh, different variations here. How to play? how to do checkmate in four moves or scholars mate they call it as scholars mate okay either queen uh, this uh, h5 or queen f3 okay over here this is the only thing yeah here opponent he can just simply uh, stop this one now g6 here uh, the queen has to move back in okay, how to save it black can play this and save this threat and then the queen has to move suppose if he tries to attack again from this side now queen b3 now here black can play like this okay black can give a threat over here and over here and if uh, white just plays this okay uh, if he so ambitious and uh, if he tries that that's not a good variation because king e7 now the queen has to be on this diagonal to give support but then b5 can come and then after that you have to loot this so this is good for black okay yes so we have seen this variation let's go back here other than this yeah if if uh, black plays this knight and attacking on this attack on this suppose queen d3 then what can you do you can play d5 now and then if uh, white captures like this e cross d5 then bishop f5 and then the queen has to move somewhere and then black can simply take this and then it's a fork to white and it's a good position for black so white has to be careful in this variation okay you cannot just continue uh, saying that yes i want that f7 and keep on attacking or just uh, Uh, play this variation without seeing all these options uh, so yes this variation you can say uh, can give you know sometimes you know easy win but it can be bad against good players so you have to be careful okay this is like you know uh, you can say so many players they play this kind of uh, this variation or you can say this opening 
for easy win but uh, most of the time they can have problems and they can even lose the game so you have to be careful it's not so uh, easy okay if the opponent knows at least little bit uh, then this can be a difficult uh, position or the difficult opening to play from wide side you have to be careful okay it's not that uh, you know a good choice so if you are very sure that okay you are playing against very very new opponent or uh, if you want to just try and have uh, you know position where you can have easy win but then if it's okay for you to take a risk like this then you can go for it otherwise you can go for other variations other openings okay this scholars made technique will not help you for a long long time okay you can play for some time but not all the times so these are some variations i wanted to show you okay how to do checkmate in four moves what is scholars mate and how to stop it if you are black if you are white then how to do it that's what also uh, we were seeing this is a scholars mate and four moves mate and if you don't know this you can have problem you are going to lose one or two points in the first tournament okay if you are just playing first tournament yes this can happen okay if you are not learn that uh, at least now you should see that so that next time whenever there is a uh, important game suppose you are playing in a tournament you should not lose the same way mm -hmm.